if I go here on the controller, you can see all the ID, all the elements that have a fixed ID here. Mention that you cannot have two elements with the same ID. Very well, that's pretty much from here. Let's go on the menu on the top. Here uh, it is all the things you can do about the file. Here on the edit are other things. Here on the view, very important. You can hide the left pane, you can show the left pane, the same things about the right pane. Very important is after building the fxml file from here you go you want to go on the view and show sample controller skeleton you want you can see here how the controller class will be you will copy the code from here control c or copy and go on the controller class and drop them here control v what i'm like what I like to do is separate the FXML uh, items from the other items of the class using uh, this comment here. That's how I do that and I like to do it like this. Okay, so from here you have to copy the code on into the controller. Very important also is the CSS analyzer here. I'm changing an element, this is a button, and I can see how I can change it from the style sheet. Uh, if I'm using for the all buttons, I can type on the CSS.button um, and I can change the alignment, font, whatever I want. You can play with the settings here. Um, Yes, that's what I meant here. If you go on the CSS, you will type dot button this, this thing you don't need, and uh, you will change what you want. These are the defaults from the default theme that we are using. Here on the preview, you can change the default theme. For example, Modena Touch, um, Glue, Glue on Mobile, you can see that it is changing and it has different attributes here on the um, CSS. You can change to Caspian, which is an old theme. And I'm changing back to Moderna for FX8. Okay, that's about the CSS. It is, it is very important to be master here because it will help you a lot. Very well, um, I'm closing that from the view, hide CSS analyzer. Here on the insert, you can insert costume elements that you want, same thing as here. On the modify, you can set effects, send size and things like that. On the arrange, for example, if you have a stack pane, you can bring um, the element to back or forward. You can check an element and wrap it, uh, wrap in it fast into a web box or a pane or a horizontal box. On the preview, when you are finished and you want to see how it will look in a window, you go on the preview and press here, or you can press Control uh, and P from the keyboard. So here it is how it will look finally. All right, all right. If I drag, you can see here. Very well. Okay, the help here. That's pre pretty much. If you want, you can uh, exercise alone here and check uh, what other you can do. That's pretty much what you need to know about uh, the Sen Builder. And uh, let's continue in the clips where I want to show you the controller. All right, here are the elements with the fixed IDs. I have uh, added them into the controller. I'm extending border pane. Into the constructor, I'm loading the FXML file, but look, I, I'm using FX root as I have shown you to make multiple instances. So I'm loading the controller into the constructor like this 
in this way. And here I need an initialize method. This is one way to do that. An initialize method. So it goes like this. First, when I initialize this uh, class, the constructor is being called. Then it is loading the FXML file. When the FXML file has been loaded, it enters into the initialize method. And here I can modify the elements that have a fixed ID. Very well. If I want, I can implement implements initializable. In I'm writing with one hand, that's why I'm slow. Initializable interface, I can import that and it has a method that I have to override. You can see that it is the same method with different parameters. If you want to do more um, other things uh, like uh, that have to, has to do with URLs and the resource bundles, you have to implement initializable and work with that method. Very well. Okay, that's one way to work with FXML file. I will post a link below the video so you can have a complete tutorial about how to use FXML with Java. Very well. Let's go here on the FXML file. Okay, you can see the elements here. For example, the button start from here, which has the ID start. You can see it here. It is children of horizontal box. It has that cursor from here. So it is very simple to, to understand if you look close inside the FXML file. Okay, that's pretty much about this tutorial and I see you all very soon. If you liked uh, this tutorial, I will make more about JavaFX and uh, other things. Thanks for watching and I see you all next time.